So all the way back in April of this year, there was a video uploaded on this channel that kind of went through different ways you can customize your Windows desktop and taskbar. And two of those things that I described in that video were one, a way to make your taskbar completely transparent. And then another thing was to center the taskbar on your main display. Now, a few of you in that video actually commented and recommended a app called Taskbar X, which is basically a program that combines those two features and allows you to both center your taskbar and make it transparent. And the one downside to the previous way was you could only center your taskbar on your main display if you had multiple monitors. So the good thing about Taskbar X is that it actually allows you to center your taskbar on multiple displays. So today we're gonna to be breaking down how to download and install Taskbar X, as well as how to use it and what you can do with it. More on that after the intro. Okay, so first of all, disregard the awkward camera angle. I don't have much to work with here in this setup because I'm kind of in this little corner and I only have a lens that's 25 millimeters. So it's this whole to do. So just ignore this weird camera angle and yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the Microsoft store. So let's go ahead and open that up. We're basically going to search for the app and download it. So let's go here and we're going to search for Taskbar X. All right, so here it is. It actually costs just over a dollar. So I think it's something that's totally worth it. It's only a dollar. I mean, obviously there is an alternative to this, like I said, uh, that I mentioned in the previous video, but I think that this one is totally worth it with the effect that you get. So I already bought it, so I'm just going to go ahead and click install. And we're going to go ahead and let the app install here. Should be a pretty quick install. It's a very small app. Okay, so it looks like Taskbar X has been installed. So let's go ahead and launch it and close out of the Windows Store here. Okay, so since I already had the app installed, it looks like it might have auto-saved my settings. I'm not sure if it automatically defaults to setting your taskbar to centered, but I'll walk you through how to set it up. So now that you have the app installed, you're going to go down to your search and type in taskbar X and you want to click on the configurator. So here we have all of the menus. So obviously you have different styles. Um, obviously there's the default, which is what it's set to right now. Uh, you also have the transparent, obviously you have to hit apply every time. Um, and it just makes the taskbar transparent, similar to uh, Translucent TB that I mentioned in the other video. Uh, you also have Transparent Gradient, which is sort of a kind of light, uh, less opaque solid color, I guess. Uh, and then you have just the regular opaque one, which is just one solid color that you can pick. And then you have Blur which just kind of blurs the uh, background and I guess you can overlay a color onto it. Like for me, I have the purple going on right now. And you also have acrylic, which I guess is like the previous setting, but it's a little bit uh, more intense. It does a little bit more blurring and um, more color. So I'm actually gonna set mine to default because I'm actually going to change my window settings to um, white because I'm kind of going for this this new aesthetic so I'm going to change my um, theme to um, instead of dark mode I'm going to change it to light mode there we go just thought I'd change it up a little bit just because I've had dark mode for forever and I think light mode gives you a little bit more of a clean um, clean aesthetic all right so the next setting that you can go into is the animation setting um, I haven't really messed around with this much you get um, plenty of different options for animations that you can pick from for when you open and close apps. Uh, so like you just saw when I went into the settings, uh, when you open settings, the taskbar will slide over to center, uh, which is a really cool feature that it constantly stays centered like that. So there's different ones. There's a ton of them to pick from. Um, I just have mine set to the, I guess the second option. Um, and you can change the speed of how fast it goes. I have mine set to 500 milliseconds, so you can pick it. There's a lot of different uh, customization options, so that's that setting. So now you have the position setting. Um, I believe for the uh, test bar offset, if you set it to zero, it will be centered. Uh, you can obviously make it slightly off centered if for some reason you wanted that. And you can also compensate for like, like it says right here, the tray and the clock, uh, which is within the bottom right hand corner. So that sort of just makes it so that it's centered with that in mind. So if I uncheck that, there's really not much of a difference because I only have just a few icons over here, but if, if I had more, uh, it, could, it would compensate a lot more for that. Then obviously you have the don't center taskbar icon, 
which just makes it go to the left like it normally would be. So we're gonna change it back to that. All right, and then task schedule is a setting where if for some reason your computer would not launch taskbar X on boot up, um, you would, it, it's just the delay of how long it would take for it to start up on its own. So you can change that however you want. I personally don't think there's really any reasons to mess with it, but if you have any issues, I guess you can use that. And then you have a few extra settings here. Uh, you can only center the primary taskbar or only center the secondary taskbar or secondary taskbars if you have multiple monitors. Um, update taskbar toolbars, pause looper when full screen app is running. So you have all these different options uh, that if you wanted to mess around with, you have them there. And then obviously you have the about page for the creator of the app. Um, looks like his name is Chris. Uh, I guess if you wanted to um, send him a message and thank him for the app or something like that, you can do that. So that's pretty much it. That's taskbar X. Uh, that's what you can do with it. Um, you can basically center your taskbar and however many displays you, displays you want. Uh, and you can make it transparent, you can make it opaque, you can give it that acrylic effect as well. So it's really cool, especially with that animation of the um, icon sliding over. I think it's really, really, really clean. And it's so much better than the built-in Windows thing that uh, I figured out how to do. So that's about it for the tutorial section. So I hope this video helped you out if you were using the previous method that I described in the Windows 10 customization guide. Um, it definitely is a way better method, especially because if you do it the way I had originally suggested, when you open a new app, it sort of makes the taskbar not completely centered, and with this, it just kind of slides it over and makes it perfectly centered no matter how many apps you have open. I'm actually thinking about for 2021 making an updated version of the Windows 10 customization guide just because I found some new things to add to that. So maybe I'll make a new video with all those items as well as the new things that I've discovered. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, feel free to let us know in the comments section down below. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you really like this video, feel free to hit that red subscribe button below. Anyways, that's about it. I'm Connor, and this is Top Spec. Thanks for watching.